Hey girls, how you doing? There's no other Pika Connect today. It's going to be a third party update. I like to do that on a regular basis. And um, third party doesn't always have to be someone else. It can be someone who's distracted by work, by family issues, by some friends, whatever. So let's not be, you know, triggered. Uh, even though that can be quite fascinating at times. Let's get that straight. Okay, so temperature is much cooler today in London. Thank God, because yesterday I was absolutely in pieces. Okay, so let's go. Two pals, what are we doing? One, two, one, two. So third party, pal number one. King of Wands, hmm. <laughs> Ten of Sword, Seven of Wands. Okay, interesting. So, the King of Wands, I learned to understand that person a bit better. But to be fair, the reputation is pretty bad. Is a player or she's a player? No kind of, you know, um, gender in tarot, as you know. Someone very ego-based, uh, who likes quick satisfaction, someone who's a bit of a social butterfly, who likes to go here, there, everywhere, all that kind of stuff, right? But uh, I learned to understand that the king of wands is quite often someone extremely sensitive and they prefer not to engage the heart. So they, they like a social butterfly, they fluff around, so they don't go in, the, in any depth whatsoever. Um, but yeah on the outside doesn't look very pretty okay i mean there's very often a very handsome or very beautiful person don't get me wrong but the vibe is not very pretty in a sense that they're generally a bit of a player okay so but i believe from experience and uh, that is more because they don't want to engage the heart okay but we're getting to a point of um, end of the era, I should say, um, because uh, maybe they hurt many people, maybe they got a taste of their own medicine and they go hurt as well. So now they understand I can't carry on like this because after the Ten of Swords, you have the Ace of Swords automatically, which means I know what I want and what I don't want. Maybe they don't want to be stuck in the faces in their life and um, the king of wands energy is really like a bit superficial it's be boring after a while it's always the same thing right so they're resisting to go down that road again okay so let's see how it's going to translate within that third party update okay so yeah they feel the need to uh, retreat they feel the need to go in the cave and understand male female doesn't matter we all have a cave we all have a moment when we need to ask ourselves some questions so there is an understanding of, okay, cannot continue like this. I need to resist the temptation to go into, uh, you know, maybe the sexual encounters I normally go for or um, whatever, you know, not going to that distraction anymore. Okay, so let's have a look. They want to regain a certain level of strength, but also it could be you uh, managing the lion so well that it become a little bit of a pussycat now. In a sense that you have a way around that person that make them calm down and maybe want you to open the heart finally, you know. They don't feel the, the fear and anxiety to open the heart anymore. They're ready to actually go down that road. So that third party update is like a resolution in some ways to find a new way to do things. Nice. So yes, here we go. Opening the heart. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like when I hire it, right? Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of clear here that they, they resist the temptation to go down the same road over and over again. And they want to, as you know, in a very shy way, uh, very reserved maybe, they, they're trying to articulate their feelings, maybe apologize for their behavior and to tell you how much they love you. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward here. It's very, um, I don't know, congruent to me, <laughs> hopefully to you as well. But it's a nice way. The third party situation, um, they have to open their heart to you. They have to say, well, maybe I was distracted by this, by that, but now I'm back to you. And I want to say to you, I try to avoid the feelings, but I can't anymore. Beautiful. So let's have a major arcana because I think it's pretty straight to the point here. We don't need to flip around. Yes, Excel, we don't. <laughs> we don't fortune. Did I not say about resolution? Mm, I'm in good form today. Uh, yes, indeed. So it's an idea of, I don't want to carry on the same way. I want to open a new chapter in my life and I want to open my heart, as simple as like that. And it's about you having invested as well uh, in someone and you were right to do so. You were right because the resolution is showing that, yes, we're getting, we're getting somewhere for sure. Okay, so it's absolutely lovely. So part number two, third party update. 
the devil, mm -hmm. king of cups, the world. Okay, interesting. So yes, a lot of uh, chemistry, a lot of maybe obsession, sexual uh, obsession. It could be as well someone still with a karmic. For me, it feels more like this. So someone is tempted by you, but still engage in some other activities with someone else. That is obviously the uh, karmic and it's a kind of toxic energy. They may have seen you as a temptation, as a obsession, sexual uh, obsession and really focusing on you, obsessing on you, spying on you, all that kind of stuff, right? The thing is, they're on the fence. What am I going to do? Am I staying with this one and this one? A bit of both? Uh, none of that? I don't know. And in my opinion, there is feeling somewhere, but they do not engage the heart so far. But we have the world. So that means that they want to entertain a new chapter. Loud. A new chapter in their life. Um, do they want to travel towards you? Are they watching you online a lot? Uh, but are they just fascinated by you and just spying on you? We need to figure it out, okay? Because that could go either way. Um, yeah, they're not taking responsibility of their own feelings. They may have been lying to not telling you they were engaged in other activities with someone else. Maybe they didn't tell you they were married, for example. That happened quite regularly here. Um, and also, it could have been that they don't want to face the reality of their life. Like, they're not totally... Sweetheart, now uh, they're not totally in love with that karmic, they're still attached to that person, but they don't want to open their heart to you neither. So they're kind of like no man's land or no woman lands. However, they want to communicate with you and they want to move forward and in a more focused way. So they were on a fence, but not anymore. They need to communicate with you, they need to tell you what they're going for. But is it just about the ones? Very sexual here, hmm? very sexual. So Wheel of Fortune, interesting, resolution, okay? So we're moving forward with the world as well. It's the same energy. We enter a new chapter, a new way of being together. Which way is it going to be? Yeah, juggling? No, it's not going to answer. <laughs> Wrong answer, Excel. Yeah, juggling two people. Yeah, we know that. But also it could be number eight. But number eight with who? With a comic or with you? What is it? Hmm, third party. They want a bit of everything. No, I'm going to work, man. <laughs> I'm going to work, uh, that they, they also maintain an illusion. They're very good. A magician is some somebody who make you believe in things, you know. It's like, oh, yeah, it just appear. Oh, it disappear. Oh, you appear again. No, not good enough, okay? But they're manifesting you because they're not truly happy at home. But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you don't want to be part of two, okay? No. So there is an idea of changing drastically uh, the, the, the mindset, changing the direction. Boom. You know, they thought they were with a toxic energy or, you know, or, or karmic, I should say. And then, boom, they're not anymore. But which way is it going to go? Is it going to be towards you that they don't want you anymore? Or they don't want to be with a karmic? They don't know. They, they cannot make up their mind. You bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there is a lot of sexual um, tension. There's a lot of so... Um, how can I say, a tormented energy here, very tormented, they cannot make up their mind, they know they miss the boat with you. They were concentrating on someone else, but they were bored there, and you were the love at first sight, and they didn't expect you. So I'm not saying, excuse me, I'm not saying they were looking for someone else, but they didn't manifest you, and by the same time, the intensity of you, they were not prepared for it, absolutely not. They, for me, be careful. This person is not taking responsibility so far, uh, they put their head in the sand. They don't want to make decision, drastic decision. They're coming for more, but they're coming for more what? I think it's more about the sex things than anything else here. Mm -hmm. They cannot make the decision. They want to be in both places at the same time. They cannot decide. But something has to give. It could be eventually they're going to make it right. Eventually, you might be the lady of, you know, justice, a male or female, doesn't matter. You decide, okay, you can't make the decision. I'm going to make the decision for you. Bye. Arrivederci, right? Because it's absolutely unacceptable to be in two places at once. Because this is the beginning of the end. You know, you, you hurt people like that, okay? Hmm? You, you want to be in your own energy of peace and serenity as an empress. So you also know that eventually they will come towards you. Yeah, whether they come or not, you're still serene because you do not buy this kind of stuff. 
When people are in between, that's when they hurt other people. And you do not want to entertain this idea. So you know what? You are like the elbow. You come at the boat towards me, fine. You don't, it's fine. I carry on being me, right? Good. Someone is leaving someone else. Is that you who make the decision and you say, enough, arrivederci? Or are they leaving the karmic in order to be with you? Let's figure that out. Yes, they feel left in the cold, maybe you as well, you know. I think you know there is a potential here. You wouldn't waste your time. You you know, you're an empress, you know where you are. Um, male, female, doesn't matter. But you're not taking any kind of rubbish to say, to keep it clean. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, right? No. Someone has to leave somebody behind in order to open their heart fully to their own truth because they feel left in the cold anyway. So they go for you because eventually you tick all the boxes for each other. Eventually they're going to get the memo. Good. But not at any price, you know. That's loud. Uh, not at any price. You're not going to compromise your truths. And with or without them, you continue on your journey. So you with me or you're not. But you know what? I'm going to compromise these kind of stories. The lovers, yeah, you bet. There's a lot of sexual energy in that power. So be aware of this. Be aware, you're not just a little bit of a sex game. No, you're so much more than that. So put, you know, your self-respect first. That's what I will say. That's what I will do. <laughs> and that's what I do. <laughs> On this note, have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.